Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Alrighty. Well, feels good to have gotten that done. Got to take care of our girl here after all. She's been pretty good to us this whole trip, so I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> Just pulled into Leadville here to get some phone service, do a little more research online, download another offline map, and make a sando, of course. Really cool old little mining city here. I was told it's the highest elevation incorporated city in the entire country, over 10,000 feet here in town. And we're currently headed just a couple minutes away to try and climb Mount Zion in the snow in the truck here which has a peak of over 12,000 feet, which would be a pretty cool spot to spend the night as long as we can make it in there and not get stuck. So buckle up, folks. Here we go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the trailhead. Finished the sand dough, smunched an apple, and deflated our tires a bit. Should help with bumps and should definitely help with the traction in the snow. Looks like there's a couple different trails here. There's also this creepy RV <laughs> just sitting here. Honestly, it looks abandoned. It looks like they have some sort of citation, but here we go, man. We're getting in here. First little hill climb here. You gotta carry some speed up this. Come on, come on. Yep, yep. Come on now. There we go. Ah, shucks. I just realized we are not on route at all right now. We were supposed to take that left at the beginning of the trail. Oh, well, let's get up here and try to turn around. All right, we're back down at the bottom here. <clears throat> There's the RV. This is supposedly where we're supposed to be going. I don't know if it's open or not, but we're about to find out. Oh man, that's a bummer. She's gated up and locked closed. I don't like to do this, but we're gonna take her out on the open road with the Tires aired down. We're gonna go down the road here, see if we can find another trail that might be open and see if we can get out there. This is quite a challenging day. If this one doesn't work out, I am not quite sure what we're gonna do, but uh, I guess we're just gonna have to look at the map here and uh, 
hopefully this takes us up into the mountains there. Well, first one, not an option. <laughs> I don't know, man. This doesn't look good. Rough road ahead, high clearance only. All right, well, <laughs> here we go, folks. Hopefully we don't hit another sign, another road close sign. Fingers crossed. Pretty nicely maintained road. This is a little bit bumpy with all the snow clumped up and these little dips right here. I can't really fly through or else we're gonna pop pop a wheelie like we did out in the desert. But uh, yeah, this is looking, looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy. All right, let's bring the drone back. Focus on getting to where we're going. Don't really feel like crashing two drones in a month. Ruh -ruh. This might be impassable. Um, oh, it's definitely a full on little river. Uh, it doesn't look that deep though. It's only a couple inches deep. I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely a little bit sketchy, but we do have trees over here to winch to if we really need to. So, I think we're going to send it. Oh, no. well, that's not good. We made it 95% of the way and just totally dropped right in here. We are high centered. Yeah, we're high centered on the axle. So. Our tires are not touching the ground really fully right now. Well, we can, uh, oh wow, yeah, that's not good. We can attempt to back up and uh, ram forward through. If not, it's gonna be time to pull the winch out for the first time. really hope we didn't damage anything under here. I don't have skid plates on this rig, so could have damaged something like the fuel tank, which would be really bad. We definitely just shoved this uh, trailer light and brake light harness up. Drive shaft looks good, hopefully. Fuel tank looks pretty good. I don't see any, any gushing leaks. So we're just gonna have to hope that there's no punctures here. And yeah, what the heck is wrong with me? All right, hopefully no more frozen creek crossings. This section does not appear to have been driven. I don't know, maybe someone drove it, but it looks like it's just been skied and walked. So getting a little bit more sketchy. All right, this most definitely has not been driven. This has only been skied and walked. So I should probably go check the depth of the snow. Don't really wanna, oh, yeah. Yep, that's pretty deep. I've come this far. I gotta try to make it up this. We are invested now, people. Oh, man. 
Ooh, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is getting a little bit, a little bit sketchy. We're on a pretty aggressive side hill right now. And this, I have to, I'm keeping the wheel turned to the right just to keep us from sliding down the hill. And it is not a small drop. So trying to keep momentum moving forward so we don't go sideways. This is crazy. This is, this is crazy. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. I really don't like this. Kind of want to scope this out on foot a little bit and see if it gets worse. Because this was manageable, but this is really, really pushing my comfort level. Like, that's not good, man. That's, that's already pretty slanted and I really don't want to go down here. This is pretty gnarly, man. I don't know, that kind of does seem to be the worst of it, but that ain't friendly, folks. The alternative is I back up for like half a mile across yet again slanted section and I'll be going in reverse slower with less momentum. So, I think I'm just going to inch forward and uh, kind of test my side hill traction here and hope for the best. What we're going to be testing here is just, see, look at this. I got to keep my wheel turned so hard to the right. If we start sliding this way, I'm going to have to call it. had my first kind of slide and I did not like it I don't know we might have messed up coming in here We just made it through what was hopefully the sketchiest part. I did see on the map that there's an alternate route back that I'd like to try and find and check out just so I know my options for tomorrow or tonight if we decide to bail. But uh, holy smokes. This is like the craziest thing I've, I've done so far, I think. Probably the stupidest thing I've done so far. So the original goal here was to get to the top of this mountain and make camp at the summit at the peak and have dinner up there as you might be able to tell i'm a little shaken up right now scoping out the rest of the trail with the drone it's hard to tell what the conditions are going to be like up here i can tell you the snow is getting a lot deeper as we climb in elevation and i don't know if we're going to encounter more side hills if we do i think i'm just going to have to back up and back my way all the way back down here to this little meadow and make camp here for the night. No regrets, but this was not my most well thought out adventure. Once again, not even like 200 feet later on a pretty aggressive side hill and the truck's starting to struggle in this snow. It's getting really deep for it. So I think we're gonna turn around or back up. Can't really turn around.
pulled the rig onto the side of the trail. Just uh, not supposed to go off trail here, but just wanted to get it out of the way should anyone need to come by here. Have it pointed at the sun just to maximize the solar we can get here at the end of the day. Pretty flat ground, not a bad spot. I think before I totally settle in for the night, I'm going to open up the diesel air cap on the fuel tank and try to fire up the diesel heater and make sure that that thing's hopefully working because if it's not, I don't know how much I want to stay out here. Also spotted some pretty sizable droppings behind the truck here, along with all these tracks all over the place. These droppings are uh, way too big to be deer droppings. I suspect either cat or perhaps an elk. I don't know, I'm not an expert. If you know about that kind of stuff, let me know down in the comments. Just gotta open up this little breather cap here. And now hopefully not have everything fall out. Move a bunch of stuff out of the way here and we can get to our heater. Just gotta power it on. We're on the lowest setting, which should inject the least amount of fuel, which should help with the fact that we're working with a lot less oxygen in the air up at altitude, which has caused problems for us in the past. So I'm really hoping this thing works. Oh no, it just flamed out. Oh, that's not good. Try restarting it. That's the sound we want to hear. That white noise. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it keeps going. It doesn't flame out again. Da. Flamed out. While messing with the heater, which is still choosing not to cooperate, decided to get some water boiling for some broccoli. And I think I'm also gonna make some tea, which sounds like it would be pretty freaking nice if we have no heat tonight, so. After trying the heater probably 10 times while cooking and sitting in here, I've kind of just accepted the fact that the advertised 1600 foot operating range was probably just a blatant lie. But luckily we are camping in the truck. So I've just started up the truck here. I'm letting it warm up before turning the heat on. Probably run it for an hour or two before bed. Very fortunate to have that option, to have a secondary heating option in my sleeping living quarters. Um, about 18 degrees Fahrenheit outside or about eight degrees Celsius. And it's about 54 degrees Fahrenheit inside or about 12 degrees Celsius. Not terrible. It's not, it's not super warm, but this broccoli is still warm. Let's see how this broccoli is. For just cooking it in this, like, you know, just boiling it in this little pot, that's pretty good. Sushi, that's what I'm really excited about. Rookie mistake, I forgot chopsticks, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll still be fuego. This is something I've never seen before. They have like this little, this little raised <clears throat> square, which I assume is to put our soy sauce in. So, yep, it says soy sauce on it. That's pretty clever. Now we just try not to spill soy sauce or sushi all over our bed. Oh yeah. 
start with the spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I accidentally, I accidentally just ate, oh, I accidentally just ate a huge, huge clump of wasabi. I don't think I've ever actually intentionally put wasabi on my sushi. The plain one is also good. And last but not least, we got the crunchy. Mm. I don't know if the spicy or the crunchy is my favorite, but it all tastes good to me. It's so wild that this whole thing was 200 calories. This whole thing, I'm gonna be so full. Oh no, idiot. Ah, I always do that. Every time. I always put the sauce in the lid, dip it in there, use it, and then I go to put the lid back on the container so I can like put it somewhere. And then I just dump the soy sauce all over the place, which I just did on my white comforter here. So that's good. Alrighty people, it's about 10 o'clock here in Leadville, five, 10 minutes after getting off the, the phone or the camera with you guys. Um, I got the Starlink online. My dad called me a little concerned because unlike me, he actually looks at the weather before going places. And I did not look at the forecast for Leadville, let alone up the mountain at elevation in the snow. And he was like, he's like, are you sure you don't want to go to a motel or something since your heater's not working? It's going to be really cold where you're at tonight. And I was like, oh, well, go on my phone, look at the weather. And uh, I'm like, oh, it is going to be cold. It's forecasted. It's forecasted to get down to about six degrees. But that's in Leadville, down in the city. Up here, it is currently a whopping 2.3 2.3 degrees outside right now um so that's good that's uh for all you celsius folks that's negative 16.5 degrees outside somehow it's 59 degrees fahrenheit in here or 15 degrees celsius i have had to run the truck numerous times probably three times now i've let it run for 30 minutes to an hour this has been the longest period that i haven't had it running it's probably been an hour I don't know, I guess our insulation is doing a pretty good job. I am a heat source. I don't know, pretty good blankets. This comforter, man, thank you, mom. <laughs> this comforter is kind of a lifesaver. I kind of want to Google if you can freeze to death in your sleep. That'd be a good thing to Google right now. This went from a fun little sushi on the mountain idea to the coldest camping I've ever done in my life. All right, well, I'll keep you guys posted on what I do. 6.30 a.m. Alarm just went off. It's uh, still negative 4.5 outside or negative 20. And got down to about 22 or negative 5.5 inside. So needless to say, I'm really excited to hopefully get the truck started and get some heat going here. Fingers crossed this is going to be a really cold difficult to start for it so here we go oh yes tried a bunch of banana and a muffin. <laughs> Not sure about the banana because our water, our water froze. So if that froze, banana probably did too. We'll just put her up on the defroster for a second. That'll do the trick. Pretty color sky out there right now. It's a nice uh, light pink over the mountain. Oh, well, breakfast is cooking here. This is actually the first time I have been somewhere so cold that it's too cold to even work on my laptop, which I can do without internet. And uh, yeah, it's too cold to do anything really. So for the first time on the trip, 
I'll be doing some reading, finally breaking into this book my dad gave me like, I don't know, two or three years ago. I just took a peek outside and I am glad to report that the tracks we made last night coming in here appear to have firmed up a decent amount, but the tires also firmed up a lot. They are really firm. And uh, I don't know, without any further ado, let's, uh, let's get out of this spot. Oh yeah, the tires are definitely a little bit, a little bit firmer and a little bit more slippery than I would like. But these tracks are doing a, mm, I was gonna say the tracks are doing a good job of directing us, but we are side slipping super, super hard right now. We're not even on the steep section. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh God. All right. Oh, okay. We just made a big slip. That's not good. That's really not good. We are in a very, very precarious position right now. trying to cut a path in that hard snow to guide the front tire because that is level and she does not want to stay on the trail right now. Okay, got those dug out as much as I could just with my boots here. We got it down to dirt over here. So if we can just get that front tire a foot forward onto that dirt and then back into the trough, I think we'll be okay. I don't know. Okay, that worked well. I'm gonna try to give the rear tires the same, same little advantage here. But if I remember, I'll throw a snapshot up of the backside of the truck right now. This is gnarly. This thing is tilted sideways on a big snowy hill. All I want to do is get out of here, man. The rear end is really trying to kick out. I don't know if that's because the dirt bike is on that side. The downhill side now, which probably is not helping, but this tree here is also not helpful. This probably doesn't look that tilted, but there's not much of an edge here. We still got a long ways to go. Long ways to go. Please, please let us get through here.
past the tree. Oh. Good job. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. All right, we're through the sketchy hill traverse in the powder. We're back on the packed stuff. Not on a ledge anymore. Oh, but we're not out yet. Still got to get across the frozen slash not frozen anymore river. So let's get down there. Jeez, with a view like that, we should have just skipped all that nonsense and just camped out right here. And we meet our friend, the Icy River, once again. Luckily, we do have that tree over there to winch to if we really have to, but let's see, see what we can do here. Good girl, the Yoder, powering through. Whew. We made it back out to the main road. Holy smokes, I've never in my life been so happy to see pavement. Holy smokes. First things first, I wanna grab a stick. Clean the snow out of the wheels because it usually makes pretty nasty vibrations. Oh wow. Yeah, these might need some time in the sun. Fortunately, I can't really get all the snow that's in the inner barrel, but it's a good start. Might hit a car wash to try to melt the rest of the snow in there. But now we gotta get these puppies aired up. Tires, had them aired down. Yeah. You, you live down there? No, we just need some pizza and stuff. Oh, nice. Camped out. Well, good to meet you, Sean. Hey, I'm glad you're getting safe. Thank you. All right, have fun. Have fun. Be safe. Sean, there, really nice guy from Canada, just brought up the fact that chains probably would have been helpful on that side hill. And I've got two pairs, four chains in the back here. So. That was another big dummy moment. I should have uh, should have thrown some chains on, and uh, <laughs> that probably would have helped me quite a bit. But uh, you live, you learn, right? Alrighty, folks, we're all aired up, ready to get back on the road. I hope you learned a thing or two from me being a dummy. I definitely learned from it, <laughs> and. Uh, gonna do things differently in the future anyhow i hope you had fun thank you so much for watching i love you guys and until next time keep making the most of it